I was here standing, getting my daughter ready for bed. I looked out the window because I seen a bunch of men running and I seen it was an older group. I seen the others coming from the white car and the gray car. And I seen one of them running like this with the machete on his side. From a fifth floor window overlooking Bathgate Avenue, a young mom named Tamika and her friend Jamie witnessed multiple acts of savagery that took just 20 seconds. I noticed that it happened really quickly and I noticed that it was a lot of guys and I also saw three cars. I didn't even know it was a fourth car. They didn't snap any photos or take videos and they didn't know it was Junior. He grew fast. Like I, I used to know him when he was like this, like this, like this. When the mob left, the women acted and ran down five flights hoping to help. I left my two-year-old daughter here to go downstairs to help someone kid I didn't even know. I didn't know he ran to the hospital. I didn't see him run to the hospital. But that's what Junior did. <laughs> With the lethal gash in his neck and brutal stab wounds to his torso, the dying 15-year-old managed to run and then walk more than a block to St. Barnabas Hospital, collapsing by the security booth when he crossed 3rd Avenue. Jamie's sister was in the crowd outside the deli. We were scared too. Like, we were scared. We're young. We have never experienced something like that. The bodega workers directed the girls towards St. Barnabas with another friend from the block. He was yelling. He was like, it's Junior, it's Junior. His eyes was closing while he was sitting there, and my best friend was like, please keep your eyes open, keep your eyes open. He was gasping for air, asking us for water. We knew that we couldn't pick him up because he's bleeding internally. Everyone just stood around while we was there helping him. My girlfriend had a sh her shirt. She took off her shirt. She's seen it in a sports bra and was holding his neck. And his last words was water. A stretcher finally took Junior to the emergency room where he was pronounced dead about midnight. The trauma of that night lingers for these young women who all live together with Tamika's small daughter. Sometimes she would get up in the middle of the night, she would start crying. She would also hide like in a closet. She says, get the bad man. It's sad, she's three years old, she had to see that. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.